What's up, everybody? Welcome to uh, episode two of Alex's Toy Show, the behind the scenes of episode one, or the making of episode one, whatever you want to call it. We'll call it something when we get there. Um, so, uh, you know, hope everybody got to see episode one. If not, go check it out, because it's still on YouTube. It ain't going anywhere. Uh, I wanted to give a, like a director's cut, a behind the scenes, a explanation for um, you know, episode one and what I was trying to do. So in the, I saw a couple of comments where, um, a few people said that I should be talking more naturally. Um, the beginning of the video I wanted, I was looking for the homage to Back to the Future where, um, uh, more, it's Marty's room. They're panning around and you hear like the tick tocking or something like that. And then the radio starts playing. You can't play radio on YouTube or else, you know, they won't, uh, they don't like your video. So, uh, what I did was I panned around my part of the room here where I work on my customs. You know, I started with like the repro labels, uh, went to some of the projects on the desk that I'm currently working on. And then I panned over to my, my kids collection <laughs> that, um, that I'm probably going to do a lot of, uh, displaying of in the upcoming episodes. Um, and then, you know, you click over to me while I'm sleeping, my alarm goes off, and I'm like, it's time to go shopping! That's what I'm looking to do. Um, so, uh, you know, um, let's review, and then, of course, you know, the end where uh, I was opening the Transformer figures, I thought I could re-record, like, dub over some voiceover or something, you know, in the end. Um, the video editor that I have on my phone, which I'm shopping for a new one, if anybody knows there's a good one for an Android phone, let me know because I will go download it because the one that I have, you can't dub over any crap. So all you hear is me just rustling through the boxes. There was a bailer going on in the back room. Um, I was almost found out. I played the Jedi mind trick. You can't see me. There's nothing here. These are not the droids you're looking for. Um, so let's uh, quickly go through the beginning scene here and then you know maybe we'll skip on to the end uh here we go i'm gonna spin you around don't get dizzy and uh enjoy my critiquing uh can you see okay there there we go how about that so there's there's some guys i'm working on um right there that scene there that's uh that's a bulkhead i'm just painting a different color for my kid dreadwing is uh, i'm turning into leader one and that star scream is turning into ramjet um, I got some pile of guys in the back there. There's a Megatron I'm turning into Galvatron. That's a Wheeljack I'm turning into Turbo. Some of the guys are, are on GoBots, and, um, you know, my kid likes them too, so I somehow have to create GoBots out of these Transformers. This is the place where we keep all our Transformer toys. There's some Lego stuff we got. Fish tank going on in the back. We're down a few fish. Uh, the big one ate a couple. Metroplex was for Christmas. Some Andy Vance like stuff. Yep, baseballs. Yep, some other stuff. Uh, that's broadside I'm working on out of a tidal wave. That Mr. Sinister in the right there. Uh, let's go back to that real quick. Uh, nope, a little further back. Maybe a little forward. <laughs> Mr. Sinister was one of the first couple of uh, customs I made. Um, little up, little up. There he goes. He's an X-Men villain, and I made him out of a uh, a Spawn character. I forget which uh, which one. This is Tidal Wave, I think, from Energon, and uh, I'm turning him into Broadside. This is uh, the Menasaur that you guys can see in that other video that we have for Mr. Plastic Robots Custom Contest. This is some artwork I picked up for the boy for his room. It's pretty cool. A lot of excellent artwork went into that. That's the solar system we live in. There's me waking up. So, um... So, yeah, it's time to go. Uh, so we're skipping ahead. Skipping, skipping. Looking for Ninja Turtles. The only guy we don't have yet is Razor or Razar. I don't know his name. He's the... Oh, 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 love her. If anyone knows this woman, needs to introduce me so I can finally get married and be happy. I love you. I'm kidding. I mean, she's cool and all, but, you know, she's only an actress. Um, <laughs> I still love her, though. 
Uh, and this whole bit where the camera turns sideways and stuff, I didn't know that my awesome phone wouldn't turn as as I filmed it. So apparently I'm filming this all sideways. This is awful. And uh, this back and forth with the borders, this is YouTube's version of fixing it. So thankfully there's that. Um, we have to skip ahead to the high kids part. Where's, uh, where's the rest of the Nile? There's the ad at. Here we go. Here we go. Get ready. John Cena's all over the place. <laughs> I had to keep from laughing when I did this. This was really funny. I enjoyed that part a lot. <laughs> Any more? Any more? No. There were a ton of John Cena figures everywhere. So let's skip ahead to the storeroom. Oh. This part here, I'm looking at the pile of uh, stuff. And I'm like, let's go through this when, you know, Brock Lesnar can't talk in the ring. We should keep him off the mic. Holy crap. So, um, at this next segment is where, you know, I was going to dub over some, uh, you know, some stuff. So, right here we have the Constructor Bots. Um, in it is, uh, there are like two packs. It was uh, Drift and Roughneck, Lockdown and Hangnail, and then Optimus and Noah. Not to be confused with the Sharktacon from Generation 1. Mind you, Lockdown, this is the only place I saw a Decepticon so far out of this whole mountain of shit. Um, Lockdown in the Constructor Bots. I didn't see any other Decepticon anywhere in any other assortment as I went through all of this stuff. Um, these are those non-transforming guys. These, this is the smaller version. Um, in it is uh, Drift and Optimus, and then I didn't give a crap. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, these suck. Uh, so, oh, what the heck? Skip the video. Oh, I didn't realize I had to go through this. Okay, we're skipping the video. That's pretty funny. So then we pick up the next case is the larger non-transforming ones. And it is a, an Optimus and a Grimlock. Um, do we care? Check it out. The bigger ones. You guys know what I'm talking about. So uh, we'll put them away. Then we skip ahead to um, the next wave of Generation Deluxes. Uh, we see Scorn, Crosshairs, Slug. I don't understand why we can't call him just Slag. Like, Slag is supposedly some kind of derogatory term over in, like, Europe or something. I would love a Transformer named Asshole. It would be like, hey, Asshole, come over here. <laughs> I mean, how friggin' funny would that be? Uh, so we have... Scorn, Crosshair, Slug, and Bumblebee in the first assortment here. Uh, looks like you get a case of eight and two of each figure. Um, the next thing I picked up... Yeah, you can check them out. Looks cool. I'm probably going to pick up an extra one of each of these and paint them into Generation 1 colors. That doesn't look like a bad car. I'm going to have to see it again in real life. Yeah, maybe. I'm sure there'll be a ton of them on the shelf. So in this wave here, um, I didn't get the name of these, but they're a little little bigger. And it's like the other wave of everybody. So this just might be the flip attacks. I don't I don't know what the hell these are. Quick draw. Maybe they're like jump starters. But um but it's strafe is a two headed flying dragon like swoop would would have been. Uh hound, crosshairs and and bumblebee. There's Bumblebee. The next one are the Dino Sparkers, is the name of the thing on the side of the box. And it looks like they're the riders. It's like, uh, it's like a guy in his mount. Um, I picked up... Uh, who did I find here? It was Prime and Grimlock come together. Uh, Drift and Slug. Or Asshole. <laughs> and then B and Strafe. One of the things I didn't get to, um, I must have deleted it by accident, was the uh, the generation, not the generations, the um, the Voyager class. Uh, it's the it's two of Grimlock and two of Optimus Prime in the you know the generation mo one uh, mode. Looks pretty cool, but I didn't put it in here. These are the flip changers. These look pretty cool. These are like the uh, the easy mode, but they're bigger than I thought they would be, so I don't really know how that's going to play off. But, uh, it was just Grimlock and Optimus. Nothing, uh, nothing great there. 
And then, uh, so that's really it. You know, then it's the end of the video, really. Um, I have my closing caption bit, uh, which was kind of funny. I started laughing. Um, you know, uh, like, tell your mom, tell your sisters, especially if they're hot or if your mom's hot. I don't remember what the hell I was saying. <laughs> but, you know, I'm single, so what the hell does it matter? When you get to be a dirty old man at my age, anything goes. It's It's like, it's like drinking vodka and eating cheese at 2 o'clock in the afternoon things you want to live for so uh so listen enjoy my critiquing of episode one which is now episode two the making of episode one there's some kind of space balls joke in there i'm not sure how that actually goes um like this video leave a comment and subscribe for more fuck you grim i'm just kidding uh peace